Hey YouTube, good morning. Well, guess what? The 8S driver woke up early today and uh, it's about 8.45 when this video was clipped and uh, it's a little bit after rush hour. But look at this first thing I got. I got a truck and a trailer doing an unprotected left. Obviously, he got a huge wide gap there, but I, I love examples like that just to show that all sorts of vehicles do this unprotected left. But here's our uh, Model Y doing uh, a little bit of early morning um, testing. Look at the long shadows we have too. So a new operational domain a little bit here with some, some new effects. Traffic is kind of, I'm gonna call it light to medium. Um, rush hour now that school's back in session is around eight o'clock now. A little bit of creeping here and a commit all the way across a little right turn and into the median with a continuation uh, into the left lane. A nice unprotected left there, no problems. Um, I was hoping to get them out here a little bit earlier where rush hour is a little bit more dense, but uh, that's not, not what happened today, but it's great to see um, them out here driving. Look at the pedestrian there. All right, I've got a couple intersections here just showing some other cars kind of coming here. Look, we got two in the median and one turning right. Another U-turn, always fascinating because I know we talk a lot about U-turns as a capability. Pedestrian crossing right in front of the ADS driver. Notice that? Notice how the car stopped before the stop line because of the pedestrian. And it kind of continued through the stop line, if you notice there. With a creep, a little right turn, and into the median. This time it waits. The tail is right on the yellow line from this perspective. It's definitely out of the lane, but it's a little closer. It looks like it left itself about two meters in front of it um, on the oncoming, um, oncoming traffic as it's waiting for its gap. I know from yesterday's clip, we had a lot of conversation about, is it waiting in all three lanes before it can go? Um, it definitely feels like it waits for opportunities uh, that are more obvious than just one lane. Let's see which one it chooses here. See, obviously there was a very large gap in that left lane, but it waited. Another large gap in the left lane. And then here it goes. Kind of a slow commit there. Definitely feel like that was full self-driving with another car doing a continuous unprotected left turn right behind us uh, that is not a, a test driver, of course. So that was a really good example, I think, of, of the patience it's using. It definitely looks like it's waiting on more than just the closest lane before it proceeds. Um, obviously, you know, cars could change lanes at the last minute, and it's just a little bit more of a cautious approach. I don't have a problem with that, um, but it does lose opportunities to go into traffic where a human might normally jump out, and especially with the acceleration that Tesla has available. All right, here we go again. Notice how it stopped at the stop line that time, uh, as opposed to the previous one, with a nice creep coming here. It's interesting, you can see the little wet spot on the road. That little wet spot is kind of a pretty good example there of, of where the kind of the boundary is of the continuation of that lane. There's a little low spot there. Notice now it did a little bit of a, a pre-roll as that car came across. Last minute, if that was the ADAS driver, it went for a pretty tight spot there and, and just got across into the median as those oncoming cars were there. So I think it's looking pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments below.